Hi everybody, welcome back to today's video. In today's video, what I'm gonna be sharing with you is a life hack that I have kind of come across um, and worked into my own household over the last couple of months. It's definitely something that's saved us quite a little bit of money. I find that soaps and detergents and um, cleaning products and things like that are things that we go through so quickly, especially in our household. I'm sure you probably have the same experience as well. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you something that's a little bit more specific to hand soap refills because that's something that we go through um, tremendously fast um, and something that you can really save a lot of money doing if you kind of do the refills yourself. So today is gonna to be really a little bit of a DIY. You're not really gonna need many things that you probably don't have lying around the house anyway. The only things that I would recommend that you actually start incorporating into your household is actually um, foam dispensers and I think foam dispensers are something that are definitely going to save you a lot of money in the long run. You might find actually that the foam dispensers initially in the startup cost to buy the initial bottle is a little bit more expensive than if you were to buy your conventional liquid hand soap um, dispensers but you will actually find that they last you um, an awful lot longer. You can keep refilling these probably infinitely until the mechanism maybe breaks which I haven't had that happen to me yet. Um, and to be able to refill them, you're gonna use a lot less actually concentrated soap. And so by that means, it's gonna be so much cheaper for you. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you an overview of the things that you will actually need to carry out this DIY. Um, there's a few things here that are obviously um, things that you really do need. Um, and obviously there's a few here that are um, optional extras that you might want to just add in just to make it a little bit fancier, if you will. Um, so there's a few things here that I have specifically. Um, you're definitely going to need your um, foam dispensers. Now, whether you want to pick these up at first in the store is entirely up to you. Um, obviously, I got the Dove foam dispenser and the Dial hand soap foam dispenser um, that we've just used through, and then we use these kind of obviously afterwards to refill and these last a really really long time if you do it that way and um, there's also foam dispensers that you can actually buy in bulk on Amazon and eBay so you may decide that you just want to go out and buy a whole variety to kind of kit your house out that's entirely up to you but you will be needing foam dispensers for this because that's going to allow you to use a lot less product than if you were actually just using your conventional liquid hand soaps you're going to need some sort of um, hand soap refill, but I wouldn't recommend getting the foam dispenser specific refill just because there's um, the same volume um, of the hand soap for essentially the same price, if not more. Whereas if you get the conventional liquid hand soap, which is a lot thicker, you're gonna be able to dilute the same quantity into a, a much bigger volume um, of liquid. So it's gonna last you an awful lot longer. And this is usually a little bit cheaper as well. So I would definitely recommend going with the thick um, liquid hand soap and we're just gonna do really a really simple dilution. Um, that's obviously for the hand soap refill and you're gonna need something if you're gonna do a body wash refill as well. Um, I've just got this Dr. Teal's foaming bath um, with Epsom salt and this is the lavender variety, the soothe and sleep one. I just really like this and I have actually been using this straight out of the bottle. Um, but what you will actually find is if you do use a lot of liquid hand soaps that are thicker, you tend to overuse them and um, to kind of create the same lava that you would if you were gonna use like a foam um, dispenser. And that's the reason why we're really kind of focusing on this DIY to save us money. You're going to need some sort, I almost dropped that there, you're going to need some sort of um, water. Ideally, you're going to need some distilled water or purified water to be able to do this with just as your dilutant. You're also going to need some sort of measuring jug to obviously get the right ratio. You don't need to really do it that precisely, but obviously you can eyeball it as well. But some sort of measuring jug is definitely handy. And then something to obviously stir and mix up the solution as well. So I've just got this um, metal straw. And the other things that are obviously optional, I just have some essential oils. One here is patchouli and bergamot, and the other one is lemon and rosemary. And you can add these in really anywhere which way you will. Um, these are completely optional, but they obviously add a little bit of something extra um, to your so, solution. So, like I said before, the main thing that we need to make sure of is that the actual solution that we're going to put into our foam refills isn't too thick. And we can kind of change this at the end if we do find that it is a little bit thicker. But I do like to kind of go for a 
like a one in four dilution. And um, so if I'm gonna make up a full litre of solution, I would probably go for about 250 ml of the soap and fill the remainder up to that um, one litre mark. Now in this case, I've only got a 500 ml jug here. So I'm gonna do about 375 ml of the distilled water, um, purified water. Um, and I'm also going to do 125 of the soft soap, actual concentrated soap um, refill. Um, and that usually gives us a good ratio between the two and make it just um, liquidy enough that it fits reasonably well through the foam dispenser as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually add the water rather than the soap. And you'll find if you do it the other way around, you actually have a lot of bubbles and um, when you add the water to the soap rather than doing it um, almost back to front, if you will. So you're going to get your water and I'm going to roughly fill it up to about 375 ml. Like I said, you don't have to do it too well. Um, but to the best of your ability, kind of get it on that mark. And so that's good. And then the rest of the mark is going to be made up using your actual um, soap refill. And this is the thicker variety. So you're going to fill this up, adding it quite gently just so we don't get any bubbles that we don't need. And we're going to fill that up to the 500 ml mark. And I think we're there now. And as you can see, this has worked really well. We don't have too many bubbles. You're then going to use whatever stirrer you've got. Here I've got that metal straw and you're going to very, very gently stir the solution together to kind of incorporate it as best as that you can and um, without creating too much uh, or too many bubbles, should I say. And then after you've done that, because it doesn't take too long to kind of mix it together, you're going to and if you would like your aromatherapy oils as well. So this is already smelling really nice, but just for the sake of this video, I am going to add a few. So I think I'm gonna go for the patchouli and bergamot. And I'm just gonna add, I'd say about five drops there. That just is a really nice scent. So I do like that one specifically. And then you have your solution. Now you don't have to make it up for the sake of this video, I'm just making up a small amount, but you can actually make up a larger amount if you want to, and then you can just store it so you don't have to do this as often, but it is a relatively simple process if you just want to make it up as you go. Um, I also have another one here because I think this is probably going to be a little bit too small for the amount we've made up, but I've got another one that also needs a little bit of a refill. So it's just a simple case of filling this up now. What you don't want to do is fill it up too much because it will actually, once you get the, the mechanism on the top, it might overflow. So just trial and error, just put a little bit more in as you go. And there we go. So you've got your hand soap refilled. It smells absolutely gorgeous. And we do have some left over here. So I'm probably gonna store a little bit of this and fill up some of the other ones around the house as well, just to top them up a little bit. So I'm gonna jump straight into this one because the dilution process and the quantities we're gonna be using is exactly the same. I'm just gonna be using um, this Dove shower foam dispenser as my refill container on this occasion. And um, obviously we're gonna be using that Dr. Teal's foaming bath soap. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to use our water to fill the measuring jug up to the same level, which was 375 ml. And then we're going to be using the body wash to fill this up to the 500 ml mark. You might get a few more bubbles out of this one just because this is a bath product and this is supposed to also be used as a foaming bath soap as well. And then we're just going to mix this as before. And already you can really, really smell that lavender. It's a beautiful smell. And I'm not going to add any of the essential oils this time around, just because I've, this obviously already has essential oils in it. So we don't really need to add any more, but you can definitely do that as well if you want to get a little bit more experimental. So again, it doesn't really require too much mixing. You're then just gonna open your dispenser and we're just gonna go ahead and fill this straight up. I think this one's actually gonna make it all the way to the top. And then we're gonna stick the top on. 
and there you go you've got a brand new completely full refill of your what supposedly would be dove but not many people would know any so different. before we go i did just want to quickly show you the all important lava test just to show you that these are exactly the same as if you were to go in the store and purchase a refill that was already prepared for you so first of all we're going to do that dial hand soap as you can see it's got the same foamy consistency lathers super super well gorgeous consistency and that's the good thing about these foam refills is that they just lather straight away you don't have to kind of put a load of thick hand soap on and then hope that you get a little bit of lather out of it just going to quickly rinse that off there for you and then show you the dove same thing just same consistency as it was originally when we bought it this is so luxurious i can already smell that beautiful lavender scent and again that is just as wonderful this is going to last just as long as the original that we originally bought in the store so that's brilliant and it just feels so moisturizing on the skin as well because you don't have too much of that heavy so product. i hope you found this video really useful to you you can probably see from this video itself anyway that this diy can actually be customized in a lot of different ways to make it more specific to you and your family if you find that a lot of um, your family has sensitive skin or you suffer from dry skin and you can obviously add a lot of different ingredients in that are going to be more beneficial to that aspect and um, so you can definitely mix and match as you will you'll see that obviously these look exactly the same as those ones that you're going to buy in the store so it's going to save you an awful lot of money and i'd definitely like to bring some more videos to you that actually um, kind of take this dilution concept into consideration when we're talking about detergents and other cleaning products as well because it's definitely a big area where we can save a lot of money and obviously if we take the right um, ids into consideration so if you'd like to see more videos like this and how it can save you and your family um, money in the long run then definitely comment below i'd love to hear your own ideas as well or whether you do this yourself at home that would definitely be of interest to me if you've got any questions please feel free to leave them down below as well and if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe that would definitely make my day so i hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you in my next video bye guys